So as Jimmy, the news of Jimmy Odukoya becoming the general overseer, as the news trends, I recently there has been a lot of talk concerning primarily because of his look and his role, uh, his role as an actor. So he has granted an interview to BBC Pigeon. He was able to answer some questions as regarding to his looks and what his opinions are. All right, so. We're going to be looking into that, all right? But before we go into that, you know, sometimes, if you ask me, it's not always about wrong or right, okay? Most time, what informs our actions and decision might have some spiritual underlay or might have some motive underlay or should be influenced by the kind of community we find ourselves in. As these news trends and as the news about him trends, what exactly does the Christian community have to say about dreadlocks? And there's a video about Pastor Chris, which I want us to see. Okay, Pastor Chris has threw the light, threw the light concerning that dreadlock. And if you agree with me, most of the Christian community opinions are majorly influenced by what pastors say. So that is why I want us to actually consider what Pastor Chris said. Then when we come back, we will look into the interview of Pastor Jimmy. Firstly, there's nothing wrong with your hairstyle, whether it is dreadlocks, deadlocks, live locks, whatever locks they are, nothing is wrong with your locks. The Bible tells us about some men that had long hair and you know, all kinds of things in the Bible. But, and how long is long? Okay, now what's important is this, you always want to be decent, okay, you always want to communicate with those in your world, all right, and um, if for example you had dreadlocks before you were born again, can you imagine with your dreadlocks Jesus saved you, how were you born again with dreadlocks? Meaning that he wasn't put off with your dreadlocks. See that? So that means that's not the problem. That's not the problem. If you would rather have a different hairstyle, go ahead and have a different hairstyle. But I have a little something to tell you about these dreadlocks. Just for good information for you. Um, the dreadlocks became popular through those who are called Rastafarians, okay? And if your dreadlocks are based on the Rastafarian society, there is a problem and I want to explain what that problem is. When you say, I know a lot of people who do these things don't even have an idea where it came from. When you say uh, uh, Rasta, which is an abbreviation for those who are Rastafarians, Rastafarian came from two names, Ras and Tafari. Now, those are actually the names of a man who lived many years ago, Ras Tafari Makonen. That's the man who became Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia, who lived, um, uh, he, he was 83 years old when he died. He, he died in 1975. Now, the Rastafarians are known as worshippers of Rastafari, the man who became Emperor Haile Selassie. He was Rastafari Makanen. So this was this was their symbol, the Rastafari symbol. So if you say that you are a Rasta or a Rastafarian that's actually what you're saying you are saying that you are a worshipper 
of Haile Selassie because they believed, here's their doctrine, they believed that Haile Selassie, Ras Tafari Makanian, was a descendant of King Solomon through the Queen of Sheba. That's, that's what they think. Now, whether or not he was a descendant of King Solomon through the Queen of Sheba, whether or not he was, the Word of God does not enthrone him to that point where anybody should worship him. After all, you're not even allowed to worship King Solomon. Why would you worship Rastafari Makonin, Haile Selassie, Emperor of Ethiopia, who's dead now? See, so get that understanding and it will help you know whether to keep the dreadlocks or not. So now the big question to Pastor Jimmy is, what is your motive of putting on dreadlocks? What are your motives? Do you have anything that drives your decision? This interview would might want to give us a little light on his own perspective about locks, chains, and earring. Let's listen to him. They always uh, talk about now will you be lead pastor. Now go call me as I am, as I did. Now go call me. In this season of my life, this this new position is a big responsibility. Mm. So all of my focus right now is here. Now as for my dreads, you know. <laughs> Um, that matter long because people don't know see everything that they do. I feel back I'm up with scripture. Everything I do, a Bible. If you tell me, oh, I have no problem. Maybe you look Bible now. Say, okay, what time is it? Ah, long hair is wrong. Check Bible. I say, ah, but you say God tells something, making no cutting hair now. Na Bible now. Mm. God tells something, making no cutting hair now. Okay, so that means hair. Long hair, sorry about that. Oh, ah, see, Pastor, you get beard, oh, you get that. Uh, but now, so Bible talk say that Jesus, when they, they, they torture him, they, they, they pull his hair from his face. If you don't get beard, which, which hair did they pull? Oh, na, na fresh skin. You see, you understand? Oh, the Pastor, you know, ah, the Pastor, they, they wear a ring. I say, ah, no problem. I, go to the book of, you see, uh, is it Exodus, when, Children of Israel, I said, they come out from Egypt. They won't do golden calf. Aaron go collect. He said, all you people bring your jewelry. They collected rings and earrings from their sons and their daughters of Israel. God's people. So anything where people ask me, see, everybody can do whatever they want to do. Personal opinion, different from, say, saying a sin. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If you like long hair, no problem. If you like short hair, no problem. But if you tell me, say, because you get short hair, I know if you get long hair because long hair not sin. My brother, that's where we don't agree. Now, now, in first thing to note here is that going by the scripture which Pastor Jimmy explained, I don't want to agree that what that scripture is teaching or I don't want to agree that that scripture outrightly supports dreadlocks i mean in as much as there's no way you can see by the scripture that condemns dreadlock also you can't use that scripture to defend the reason why you are putting on dreadlocks not like i am against it but this is just me saying now what you have to understand is that the reason why it looks as though this thing is trending is because as i pointed out in our last video Putting on locks is something that is alien to our culture, okay? And, but that aside, let's also not forget that, um, let's also not forget that this particular person has been a pastor of a youth branch. So, that is to say, these people, somehow, they've known it before now. And there's no way you can tell me that they wouldn't have gotten the way that eventually this same man is going to mount the aims of leadership in their church one thing we can't dispute is the fact that because of this is look there will be a major drawback in the way is accepted in the christian community and this is largely dependent on the kind of society we are the things we consider worldly and godly 
But if you ask me, I think there are more weightier matter which we should use to join this pastor other than his look. We should be able to consider his depth of knowledge in spiritual realities. We should be talking about his ability to even bring leadership to the church which he is currently heading or pastoring. So these are weightier matters, matters of leadership, matters of spiritual depth and understanding. But one thing we can dispute is that definitely this is look some sort of hindrance in the way is accepted. I really doubt if most churches, I mean when I mean most churches, most Nigerian churches we want to have such kind of person come to minister in their pulpits. Alright, but that being said, there are more weightier matters by which we should judge this young man other than his looks. We have seen the interview, okay, alright, we have seen the interview and uh, more reactions are trailing, more reactions will be trailing, but it boils down in the his ability to bring leadership and spiritual solutions to his congregation. I want to know what you think. Make sure to use the comment section and drop your thoughts.